habit is something we do without even thinking about it. It is our usual manner of behavior or a behavior pattern acquired by frequent repetition. One of the reasons we don't develop the good habits we say we want is because we live in a culture of instant gratification. We want everything now. And many of the good things we want and need are not attained just because we want them. Good habits come to those who are persistent and who refuse to quit. Making good habits, breaking bad habits. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. I have shared with all of you on many occasions the dreams that I have that we have for our family and they often are composed of a whole bunch of different pieces <laughs> and that can be a bit frustrating at times because we live in a world where we want immediate success and there's all these pathways and roadmaps that are laid out to get there and when you're trying to do something new and different it's hard to stay on track and I really reached a point where I just um, want to stay on track with the things that I know are going to help us to move towards our dreams and goals. So I want to be able to look back and say, you know, these are the habits that changed our lives. And one of the things you guys know I'm focusing on right now is reading. I have tucked into different parts of my day um, just little 10-15 minute increments of time in order to read. Um, I like to split my reading time up between books um, that are, I guess, categorized, that speak to different parts of my life with no uh, real plan of finishing them quickly. The goal is to just really allow them to create change in my life and growth in my life and in my heart and in my mind. So I started by adding five very short and sweet blocks of reading time throughout my day. Five main areas that I want to grow in, and so that is what my pockets of reading time are comprised of. I guess they're called reading sprints, and I like them to be broken up by the areas of my life that I want to grow and build good habits in. There are Bible, relationships, writing, filmmaking, and entrepreneurship. <laughs> So basically, um, all of the books that I tend to look up for myself fall somewhere in those five categories and I take them and I add them to a reading list split up based on those categories and I that is how I kind of create a TBR or a to be read list for myself. And I just give each one of those books or those categories time in my day. So 15 minutes of time and I just work my way through them very slowly but surely. Um, just making sure that I'm not missing anything. The goal is not to finish the book uh, right away but to just really sit and absorb in order for them to produce change in my life. The next one that is on my list, making good habits and breaking bad habits. I'm going to split it up into 14 days. So at the end of this two weeks, I would have expected to have gotten a good solid grasp on the habits that I want to add to our lives. I thought that I would start this off by sharing this with you all because while I know that influencing is a thing, I don't believe myself to be an influencer. I don't believe our family to be an influencer, but I do understand that we have influence. And I wanna use this space to not only just show you all that we're doing in our lives, but hopefully um, for you guys to walk with us, you know, to walk together by faith and with love. The goal is remembering that life is so very full of lessons, so we are here to live and to learn. 
So yeah, let's build some good habits together. Let's um, uncover those habits that change our lives. Most recently, the habit that I have been trying to grab a hold of it is concerning my health and my fitness. And I have been failing. I have been failing miserably at um, just giving attention to what I'm eating, to what um, the level of exercise, um, my boundaries when it comes to my mental health. Um, I have in the past been failing miserably and I'm deciding that that kind of stops now because there's too much at stake. Um, there's so much growth that I want to achieve and um, goodness that I want to be able to bring to the space and to the world. And in order to do that, I am going to have to take personal responsibility for the habits that are shaping my life, basically. Make a list of all the habits you want to make and all the ones you want to break. Now choose one and stop doing what you don't want to do. If you focus one at a time on the habits you want to make, eventually they'll become second nature. If you focus one at a time on those you want to break, eventually you will conquer them all. But if you look at them all at once, you will probably feel overwhelmed and be defeated before you ever begin. That is me. <laughs> I have all these things that I want to get better at, that I want us to grow in, and looking at them all at once is, in fact, overwhelming. And so, what is a community and what is this space if we can't just break things into bite-sized pieces and work on them together? Don't be discouraged because you have not arrived at success, but instead be pleased that you are pressing toward it. Discouragement will only zap the strength you need and have to eventually succeed. So this is where I want to start. The very first habit that I want to create um, that I've kind of already started is reading. Um, I laid out my schedule of how I want to make reading more a part of my life and really that was inspired by what I did in our homeschool life. Just lacing our day with reading time has produced so much fruit with the kids and why would it not do the same with me? I think my main goal is making sure that I know that there's no need to rush. A lot of times we want this habit to be created like yesterday. And um, I want a lasting habit that's gonna create true change and affect my life and all those around me. And so if that takes more time, then so be it. But that is what I am working on first, and I thought we could do these little check-ins where um, I just kind of share the habit that I'm working on and the progress that I'm making, and hopefully you'll see the change in our lives because of that habit. And yeah, we can just kind of grow together. So that is my first habit that I am trying to make and um, stay consistent with. And I have to say that I've been pretty happy with how that is turning out. Let's just do this together. So tell me in the comments, tell us in the comments, if you are trying to work on being able to say this or these are the habits that changed my life, what are those things? Make a list and start with one. My first habit is reading and tell me what yours is so we can kind of help keep one another accountable. I must say that you guys have been blowing me away with the quality of comments that you have been leaving to myself and to my family. I am not in this game for the quantity of friendships or relationships or connections we can make, but rather the quality of friendships and relationships and connections we can make through this platform. It energizes me. It helps me to keep going and push forward in a space that is not really designed for us and the way that we like to move through life. <laughs> Nevertheless, we persist and I am excited to do life with you all. So I'm starting with chapter one, The Anatomy of a Habit. If you want to read along um, with this book with me, then feel free to do so. I am going to try to put little snippets on our Instagram. Make sure you're following our Instagram. I will be posting um, just snippet updates of reading through this book and building um, these habits that are going to change our lives together. Uh, so make sure you are following over there as well. So here's to making good habits and breaking bad ones and all of the habits collectively that we'll be able to say that changed our lives. 
so let's stay connected make sure you are subscribed to our channel and that you hit the notification bell so that you will not miss a post of ours and we can stay connected on this journey together together and <laughs> and i will see you in our next video bye don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe, subscribe.